Welcome back to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. In this short video, we're going to show you a very special technique that's unique to all clarinet players, including the bass clarinet. We're going to call it going over the break. And Caitlin here is going to give you a really good demonstration while I talk you through that process. It's really not a difficult thing to do, but you have to remember to keep your air going. It's all about your air. You ready, Caitlin? Okay, Caitlin's going to play a low F for us right now, and she's going to give it a really big, thick, rich sound. Okay, now remember, the thing for F is thumb 1, 2, 3 in the left hand of 1, 2, 3, and the low F key in the right hand. So make sure you've got that good fingering, all right? All right, so just let's, let's hear that F, that low F. Nice and rich. It's a great sound on bass clarinet. It's one of my favorite sounds ever. So now, what she's going to do that again, and this time she's going to keep her eyes closed, and I'm going to do something really fun to surprise her and probably you. You ready? She's going to keep her eyes closed. Big, big, big sound. <laughs> Try it again. Did that surprise you? Surprise, surprise them too. Try it one more time. Close your eyes. <laughs> Now, good. Did you hear that change in pitch? I know, you, I know you did because you know she was surprised, and I wasn't surprised because I knew it was going to happen. Actually, Caitlin knew too. She jumped from that low F to the C to two C's above it, which is a you know, talk to your band director. It's it's an interval of a twelfth, right? It's a big space, right? Um, she didn't change anything. She didn't change anything except for there was one fingering that I changed for her. Right? And she's going to do it now for you. She kept that air going. She kept everything else the same. The armature was the same. She's going to do it for you now, and she's going to change one thing, and that is she's going to use her left thumb to depress the register key on the back of the, the, clarinet, the bass clarinet. Let's go ahead and do that from F to C. Good. And, you know, can we, maybe we can have a close-up here on that, on that F to C as she moves the register key. Try that one more time. That's great. Go ahead and, and turn back around, Caitlin, so that you're square on the, on the chair. And right, she's going to do that again. And this time, rather than playing the low F, I'm going to ask her to play a low G. So thumb one, two, three in the right in the left hand, and one, two, three in the right hand without that low F key. And that's going to be the low G. Okay? So go ahead and do that low G, and when you're ready, play the, the you pop the register key to get the sound that's above it. Good. Caitlin, can you tell them what note is it that they get when they push the register key off of the low G? A D? Yeah, they, you get a D. So remember, from the F to the C, the G goes to the D. Let's try one more. Caitlin's going to play a low E on the bass clarinet. Let's look at her fingerings for that. Her fingers for that fingering, right? And she's going to use that low E key. And now, if you don't know where your finger should go for the low E, check your book. It's in your uh, fingering chart. But you want to check out Caitlin's pinkies on her left and right hand because they're showing you exactly what you need to do for that low E. Okay? She's going to press. She's going to play the low E and then press the register key. And remember, she keeps the air going, the embouchure is exactly the same, all the fingers are the same except for the left thumb, which rocks from the left thumb, excuse me, the, the F key on the back of the thumb, from the back of the clarinet, to the register key. It has to depress both of them with a little rocking motion. Good. So, tell them, Caitlin, what note do you get when you go from the E up to using the register key. What note do you get? A B. Yeah, you get a B. So it's really fun. By doing, by using the break, you get a lot more notes and you extend your range on the bass clarinet. It's really an important technique for bass clarinet players, alto clarinet players, and B flat clarinet players. So make sure you're practicing that. Like I said in the beginning of this, the, the video, this is all about using the air. It's all about really good supported air. So so if, you, if you're having trouble with it, make sure that you're Continuing to use that air, and I know you're going to get it with a tiny bit more practice. Okay? The next Measures of Success video practice buddy for the bass clarinet focuses on tenuto and staccato, so be sure to check that out. And now, on behalf of everyone here at FJH Music, 
and Caitlin. I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.